Alrighty guys, how's it going? Slip Tips here and today we are back with some more Hearts of Iron 4. Now today's country is going to be Albania. Now I looked at the comments of the last video and looks like our suggestion for this one is to play it like normal but this time we have max technology so we're gonna go in with a complete technology tree and we're gonna absolutely destroy everyone. So we're gonna go ahead and hop right on it. And for those wondering, on the next video we're going to be playing Algeria, which is around this area. So um, it's going to be a bit interesting on the next one considering Algeria doesn't even have a factory. So uh, yeah, go ahead and leave your suggestions in the comment and you might be featured on the next video. Without further ado, let's hop into Albania. So to start off, we need to research all using the uh, console commands and it's a research doll which is perfect so let's go ahead and close out of this now we have the best guns in the game so despite this research advantage we still only have one civilian factory so we're gonna have to try and uh boost our numbers up here uh our focus tree will get us a few more factories but overall it's still gonna be a pretty hard hard fight so as we look in production, we can get some pretty good stuff, but it's going to take forever to make everything if uh, we can't quite get enough factories. I'm going to try my best here. I'm not too sure how it's going to go. I know Italy is probably going to attack at some point before we declare war on everyone. So we're going to have to try and hold them off first. But I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. I'll bring it back when something happens. Already, so we made it into 1937. Uh, not too much really changed. I did a bit of the focus trees to increase our industry and also did political effort. Um, I went ahead and changed our main division template. So we have seven groups of infantry and an artillery. Then we also have engineers and uh, recon. For the government, I haven't changed too much. Um, I added our communist person. Then we also have uh, military high command, so we got one for artillery. And we also have this defense dude. Um, I'm currently just working on getting us to communist so we can get the 500 weekly manpower. Other than that, not too much really going on. I'll go ahead and bring it back when something happens. Okay, so things are getting a little bit interesting. China, communist China have supposedly had something go down. Um, Okay then, uh, <laughs> so looks like we have, uh, yeah that's goofy, but uh, Russian Civil War, this time by the uh, provisional Russian government, rather than uh, Trotsky's little thing, but it is what it is, whatever the heck this is, um, definitely interesting, <laughs> but um, yeah, let's move on. Okay, looks like we're about to... Uh, have an issue with Italy. I do have three divisions ready, so we'll see if we're able to hold. Uh, I think we'll just have to keep the ports and hopefully it'll work out. And looks like Italy has declared war. However, we do have better gear. We got advanced artillery, the best infantry equipment, and we also have some good uh, support divisions. So let's see how this goes. Oh, looks like we're about to have an enemy naval landing. Let's see if we can hold them off. They did land here, but we're pretty much going to encircle them. Oh, look at that. <laughs> They're already done. And just like that, we popped them. All right, beginning casualties of the war. We lost 424 and they lost just a little under 21,000, which is great news for us. And it looks like we're about to have another landing. What the heck are you doing there? Uh, I guess they abandoned the point. Okay, managed to get back in time, so that's good. <laughs> oh, that was a close one. I almost abandoned the stupid port. But another 5,000 casualties to the enemy. Already looks like we have another landing, and there's three more divisions for us to pop here. That brings the current casualty tally 690 compared to 48,000, which I think that might be our best KD so far, although. We're only against Italy right now, so I guess 
the more manpower we can drain from them, the better. It'll be uh, less people we have to fight when we're going against the entire world. And with the referendum, we have now gone communist, which means we can go ahead and get our ideological loyalty for 500 weekly manpower. Oh, why do they do that? Get over here, please. Okay, good. Now kill them. There we go. Alright, so again, they decided to leave that point really as soon as the one port is attacked, which is a bit dangerous, so I better reorganize these orders. I'll just go ahead and uh, set fallback lines. And there we go. Casualty report, 732 compared to 68,000. And we captured an Italian operative. Okay, we do a bit of trolling with these missiles I got here. We're going to do some strategic bombing over Italy. Of course, most of them are going to get shot down, but we do it for the meme. Looks like they've made a landing here. We're going to go ahead and kill them off. There we go. Looks like Germany and Austria-Hungary have gone to war. With Romania's support against Austria-Hungary here. So, I like this. It means it's going to be less people trying to kill me. <laughs> uh, the weaker everyone else is, the happier I am. And it looks like we got another attack. And they've landed here. Bye-bye gone ahead and developed these insane submarines literally the best stuff ever got three level four torpedoes a level four engine as well as a level two snorkel so once that's ready in 1940 we're gonna be able to take out a lot of the troops trying to naval invade us another landing another kill as we look at the casualty report, we've lost 841 people. They've lost about 143,000 already. So we are in 1939. I've got a decent uh, military setup. I think I'm gonna go one more year to build up so I have enough divisions to sort of hold this border as well as my ports here. Um, it's a little bit rough playing as Albania because we have quite a stretched out border as well as sea. So, I'll do my best to try and hold it, although it might be a little bit tough. Uh, my biggest issue is going to be manpower. I did set total mobilization so we could take full advantage of our consumer factories. Or civilian factories, I should say. I'm going to try to up my conscription to try and uh, sort of counter that. Looks like they're making another landing. We're going to kill them. Very quick. Oh. Okay, I guess, uh, new guy in Italy. Epic. Uh, anyways, checking the casualty report, we have 854 deaths compared to almost 200,000 of them. So, really nice KD, uh, I'm guessing. Just over 200 KD, it looks like. Which is great. Yeah, they'll get it out about a month early. So, I think we're gonna go till 1940 before we start the war. Uh, we'll see if that helps things out. Oh, okay, I guess uh, we're at war with Germany now. So that makes things a little bit more interesting. Uh, as long as they don't get through Yugoslavia, we should be okay. Looks like they made another landing. Just one division, though. They must really be running low. Okay, looks like uh, World War II has started. However, Poland is uh, on their side. Epic. So, I think, yeah, I'll just go to 1940, helping out the Allies, and then I'll declare war on them. Well, we'll be able with the whole world. Oh, no, I don't want to join your faction. No non-aggression. Oh, I'll take your convoys, though. All right, due to the uh, debuff and manpower that I got from total mobilization, I went ahead and switched it back to war economy. So, I guess we took advantage of the... Uh, civilian factories while we could, but we have to switch it back so we can get our manpower back. Let it be known, it was the great Albania country that has bombed Eastern Germany. Oh, looks like Yugoslavia has joined uh, Axis, just as I was about to declare war on the whole world. So it doesn't really matter too much. We're in January 1st now. So I put up this defensive line. Uh, I banded this tile here just because it was going to spread us out a little bit more so I decided I'd have us a little bit more concise 
so I'll give that one for free. Um, like that, I think we're ready to declare war. Alrighty, guys, Albania versus the world. Here we go, and it's starting. Alrighty, guys, so I gotta go ahead and click through all this. Um, but I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. I'll greatly appreciate if you took the couple of seconds to hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, this is part of my series. My goal is pretty much to survive against the entire world, playing as every single nation in the game. So it's going to take a long while. Um, I'm going to be doing both starting nations and releasable nations. So it's going to take a very long time. Uh, I'm hoping to continue this as long as possible. Um, pretty much uh, the goal for starting this series, I tried saying before, was 200 subscribers. But I decided I'd treat you guys to early releases. So if we hit 15 likes on this video, I'll go ahead and release the next one. But here we are with the start of our war. Let's go ahead and uh, check the map out. Alrighty, so Yugoslavia wasted no time in trying to take that tile. So we're going to let them have it. We're just going to fortify our position here. And we got Greece to our south. And Italy's been trying to naval invade us for a little while. Oh no. Tanutuba is at it again. They're starting a faction. Fortunately for me, this faction isn't quite that giant yet. Unless Russia joins, then that might be a bit of an issue. But usually after the first few weeks of the war, people start to join a crap ton of factions, as we can see here. Russia is now part of the Tanutuva faction, which is going to be a bit interesting. All right, looks like we actually have some third party conflicts going on between the Axis and allies, which we see here in Greece and Yugoslavia. Oh, oh no, Tanutuva is at it again. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Tanutuva, why? They have most South America. Oh jeez. All right, looks like we got our first conflict of the World War going on with a nice victory as we hold off Greece forces. Oh. Okay, we have the Yugoslavian Civil War here. I'm going to take this to our advantage. I think this might count them as being encircled if we're able to take this tile. Let's see. Yeah, these guys are all encircled here. They're about to get a crap ton of kills if we take this. Looks like they're about to attempt a naval landing, which we will promptly destroy. And there we go, we've taken that tile. Although we're just going to have them fall back once they defend against this. So look at the casualty count after our first giant conflict in the World War. Uh, we've taken just under 3,000 casualties compared to 339,000 of them. We're doing quite well. I'm very happy about it. Uh, the new technology is definitely helping us out quite a bit here. Unfortunately for me, the submarines are delayed until the 22nd of January, 1941. So we still have a year before we see our first uh, submarine. We are unfortunately being bombed. However, we do have an anti-air gun stationed. Um, so we might have a little bit of an issue, depending on how much uh, damage they do to us. We have shot down quite a few planes, though. So. Alright, I'm going to go ahead cancel these units just to see if they'll stop trying to bomb me and bye bye apparently the white death is causing me a lot of trouble <laughs> even though we're nowhere near them oh like we got another landing oh never mind they attacked everything except the open area there already i went ahead and actually took a little bit of land here we're gonna even circle these troops here which still get us some more kills Considering trying to take these ports to uh, cut off their supplies, which I could probably do here, although it will spread me out quite a bit. Yeah, taking this port would be huge. So let's see if we can install here. There we go. Let's go ahead and call off that. Already looks like the Tuvan Federation here has gone to war with the Germans. This should alleviate a little bit of pressure off of our border. Alrighty, we're going to try and circle this port now. There we go. And... Here we are making a bit of a push. Managed to take out a couple of them. And pop. Alright, looks like they're trying to make a push here. 
so far we're able to hold them off. Alrighty, they made another landing, which means we can take them out pretty easy. Alrighty, so we're halfway through 1940. Let's go ahead and check out the casualty report. I've taken just over 13,000 casualties compared to 519,000 of them. So very, very, very nice casualty reports. Uh, probably the best one I've had so far. A lot of it was just because they landed, I just kill them instantly. But they have been trying to push quite a bit, which has been draining their manpower too. So we'll go ahead and keep on going. I'll bring it back if anything happens. Alrighty, we're currently fighting for this tile in Greece. Let's see if we can take it. And there we go. It looks like a small issue here as they're trying to take this port. I'll go ahead and move a division over. And looks like we're about to repel that attack. Alright, looks like we're having a bit of an issue with manpower. So I'm going to go ahead and bump us up to uh, service by requirement. And I'm also going to get rid of one of these uh, production lines for our, or I guess recruitment lines for our uh, infantry. That should save us a little bit more manpower. Uh, I think we have enough divisions to hold either way. Alrighty, we're going to go ahead and take this little island back. Which will get us quite a bit more kills. And now we're being naval attacked by the Republic of Turkey. Which, oh well, easy dub. Let's kill him pretty quick. Okay, I think there might be some sort of bug. Apparently, someone else had a naval attack going on. And they're naval attacking the people that just naval attacked me. Um... Okay, that's bugging out the game. I don't think that's supposed to happen. Oh, it's bugging out. Okay. Uh, cool. We'll see if we can just kill them this way. And I think more people should land after that. Okay, no, they just bugged out. Alright then. Let's go ahead and take that. Okay, whatever reason, they don't want to do anything. I sent my submarines here. Hopefully they'll be able to do something. Okay, now they're just going to bug out. <laughs> okay, so we're a bit into 1941 now. Let's go ahead and check the casualty count. Oh, it looks like we've taken just over 33,000 and they're just under a million. So this is... Holy crap. Uh, we've done quite a bit of damage. Um, yeah, because we're against the entire world. It looks like we did quite a bit to Italy. A bit to Yugoslavia. Romania. Really, anyone that's trying to attack us is just getting destroyed. Turkey's little uh, invasion force got wrecked. Greece. Yeah, we're absolutely destroying them right now. Um, I'll probably go until 1943 or 44, depending on if I can actually do anything. Uh, if they just, like, doom stack the border and prevent me from pushing, then I'll probably end it sooner rather than later. But if I can do some pushes, then I'll play longer. Alrighty, so with the Allies landing in Europe, I think the border should alleviate a little bit. Uh, Italy's going to start having some pressure, so they'll have to leave. Uh, maybe Yugoslavia will get overrun, so I could take advantage of that. Maybe push a little bit. Um, and then maybe I can do something else around here somewhere. I'm not too sure, but <laughs> we'll find out. Oh, uh, something happened here and they managed to take a tile. I'm not too sure what happened, but I might be able to take advantage of this and encircle them. Okay, maybe not encircle, but I can at least uh, hit them back. And yeah, there we go. And it looks like they made a landing here, this time by uh, Brazil. Alright, we're going to go ahead and make an attack on this tile. Hopefully we encircle this guy. And perfect. And there we go. And another free encirclement, courtesy of Turkey. And bye-bye. Alright, we'll go ahead and cancel this. No need to waste manpower. Alrighty, so we're nearing the end of 1941. Let's check casualties. So we're just under 60,000, so we've actually taken quite a bit. Uh, the enemy's looking at 1.63 million. So, yeah, still really nice KD. I'm really happy with the result. Uh, we're going to keep on going. I'll bring it back at the next update. See if we can push here. Should be able to work. Alrighty, perfect. Oh, we might have to stall you. There we go, we got it. Looks like there's a complete encirclement here done by the allies. They're wiping up Yugoslavia, so I think I'll go ahead and get involved here. Alrighty, we've completed the encirclement here. Now all we have to do is clear out these people. Another uh, Italy leader has been deposed. Blended. Oh, and just like that, uh, Italy has their own civil war. And uh, Dino Grandi's back. 
We'll go ahead and circle this group as well. And there we go. Alrighty, so looking at the casualty reports, we're just at 81,500 compared to 1.89 million. So once again, really nice KD. We're going to move on. Oh, uh, looks like the uh, Italian leader is gone again. And Italy is on the side of the allies. Are right, running low on manpower again, so I'm probably going to have to switch it to all adult serve. Which will hurt our factories a bit, but it's okay. We do have a pretty nice surplus on equipment, so we should be all good. Oh, looks like we're facing a large scale invasion here. We're going to hold them off though. And yeah, they already quit for the most part. Already we've taken another tile. Now we're pretty close to splitting uh, Greece in half. Which may or may not be good. Um, it opened me to a lot more naval attacks if I took Greece. So I might refrain from doing that. But um, I'm not too sure how far I want to push this. Um, I might push more this way. But I want to try avoiding uh, stretching myself out in the sea. Because I'm going to have to deploy more troops behind to sort of take care of all the naval invasions. Oh. Looks like uh, the war with Yugoslavia is over. I don't know if it's going to let me keep the land I took because of the peace deal. Let's see how it goes though. Uh, we got a decent score out of this. So I'm going to see if I can actually do something here. Okie dokie. So I've been a little bit goofy. I made a bunch of different little puppets here. Um, which is going to look kind of funny. But it is what it is. I'm hoping it helps alleviate some of my borders as well. I don't know if it's going to automatically make them declare war though. So let's go ahead and go. Alright, let's see how this works. And it looks like they did get declared war on. But that's okay, it's going to throw them off for at least a little bit. Um, <laughs> look at this, I pumped in the Vatican. So, <laughs> have you heard of the great British Raj invasion of the Vatican? I don't know what is going on. Um... Unfortunately for me, this means I'm not at war with the entire world anymore. So, uh, I'm going to keep doing what I can. Yeah, look at all my buddies here. Hopefully they get a few casualties on the other side. But, it is what it is. Looks like the border is actually opened up for me here. So, I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of that. And, it looks like they're starting to focus down on me. Uh, there's a lot more naval invasions. But, that's just means I'm going to get some free kills. Oh no. <laughs> the Vatican has fallen. The British Italy. Oh no. My puppets are falling. No. My people. So it looks like my puppets are falling apart. I'm the only one remaining. <laughs> Albania, Germany still has uh, three divisions fighting. But I don't... Where do they go? I don't even know. Let's see if we can claim this port. Try to cut off their supply. Stall here. And... We're going to take it. Bingo! And... Nice little naval invasion by the enemy. Let's go ahead and wipe them out. Oh no, they actually did something here. What is this? They're all 11% strength. I feel like they've nerfed the submarines a little bit. I haven't really seen any kills. Either that, or it's just not showing me the results of the naval battles, which is a little sad. Uh, I wonder if I can find the result. So yeah, we got a little five. I don't know what their stats are though. Oh, history. Okay, you've got no history. Oh. Okay, we have sunk some ships. It just hasn't told me what about you. Okay, you didn't get anyone. Okay, so on our submarine sunk quite a, or at least three of their uh, heavy cruisers and battleships. Other than that, they didn't actually do any convoy raiding. <laughs> okay, looks like we're facing a pretty big offensive here. Oh, we might actually lose some tiles, which could be bad. Okay, looks like this this might be the beginning of the end. They're starting to push pretty hard. Let's see how it goes. All right, yeah, they're starting to push. Um, oh no. Okay, it's starting to fall apart. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Um, fall back line. We'll make things a little bit more concise. I think the main issue we're facing is as we get further in time, the less, like, advantage we have with our, um, 
technology boost. Because they're starting to get more equal with us in terms of technology. And uh, we're also running low on manpower, which could be an issue. Oh, looks like we got a bit of a Greek civil war here. Let's open the border up quite a bit, but I don't quite want to push my luck. Uh, I've been on the defensive for quite a while now. Look at the casualty report. Um, I'm pretty sure this was a bit higher. I think since the Axis got pieced out, it took away all the casualties I caused to them. Um, so I'm pretty sure I have like maybe a half million more than that, but still pretty good KD for just over 160,000 casualties, which isn't too great. Now that I'm looking at it, this division can uh, die real quick. Oh, never mind. They just unencircled them. Uh-oh. They managed to take a tile from me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. We're going to have to reposition everyone here. Yeah, they're, they're overwhelming us a little bit with their air force. We're shooting quite a few of their planes down. Unfortunately, we're taking a whole lot of damage. See, our their air support is quite bad. So far, we're able to hold. What the heck? Albania and Germany just declared war on the Gamont State. Alrighty, uh, we're starting to face a pretty large-scale attack here. We got a couple red bubbles here. I'm trying to reinforce it the best I can. However, it doesn't look too good. Oh, uh, we might lose a spot here. Okay, bad news. We might be getting encircled here. Let's try to stall them. Okay, it's not looking too good. I think we just lost their capital. Uh, please don't capitulate. Okay, we should be okay. Um, our order to fall back to this point here. Hopefully we can pull everyone out. Okay, it's not looking good. We are falling on many sides. Oh no. I right, let's just try to hold. Okay, yeah, I think we're about to lose it here. They're pushing us back quite a bit. Maybe we can hold. We're about to lose uh, one of our last cities. I think we got three left. It's not looking too good. We're just out of manpower right now. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of a couple divisions here. Maybe that will help us out. Okay, yeah, some of our units are just getting deleted thanks to the uh, bad manpower. Yeah, it's definitely an issue. Without the access to sort of distract them, we're just getting overwhelmed. Uh, let's check our final kill count though before we die. Uh, we lost a quarter million troops, I guess, unless you include uh, our Benjamin. Uh, we've taken 222,000. We've dealt just a little over 2 million to the Allies, plus whatever we did to the Axis before they died. But unfortunately, I think we're about to die here. We took that province, and they might be pushing into that. It's not looking too good. We're gonna go ahead and go to scraping the barrel. Okay, so we're at a point where they're not able to quite kill us. We have six or so tiles left. Um, however, with our lack of manpower, we're not quite able to gain it back quick enough. Uh, so it's only a matter of time. Uh, we'll go ahead and deal a bit more casualties to them. But I'm gonna go ahead and just speed it up until we die. And looks like we have been overthrown. We were allowed to keep our army here. We were just changed to democratic. Uh, did we get puppeted? Nope. So yeah, we still are independent. They just uh, sort of overthrew our leader here. And yeah, so that was a lot of fun. I think that was the most fun I've had with one of these survival challenges. Uh, we did pretty well. I think if I was a little bit less aggressive and I wasn't like pushing so far, we probably could have held out a whole lot longer because uh, I lost quite a few people just trying to charge out like that. But it is what it is. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I sure did. If you guys would like to support me, feel free to hit that like button. Uh, if you didn't like the video, feel free to dislike. I don't mind too much. If you would like to see future videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. 
I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I will see you all next time.